there everybody, it's Screaming Gamer here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we got the Champion's Tunic and the Flamebreaker set, and we started heading up to the dungeon. Actually, this is the final dungeon of the game. It's not really the most challenging dungeon, but, you know, it's a dungeon, and that's fun. So this is probably my favorite, well, not my favorite dungeon, it's... I don't know what I would rank the dungeons. I don't really have a ranking for them. It's just, like, they're all pretty good, in my opinion. I mean, if I had to take a guess, I'd say my least favorite is probably the, uh, uh, I hate to say it, but, like, I, I can't, I can't pick a least favorite, honestly. Okay, so, the good thing is, this, yeah, this dungeon, very easy to cheese. So all we really gotta do is just make our way to the uh, different points on our map. Um, we can use these minecarts to get around relatively easy. Uh, crap, we looped. Um, we actually need to hit this uh, switch. I said we need to hit that switch to make it kind of go forward. So this time I'll, I'll do that a little better. Um, it's like right now. Yeah, so now we can actually make our way forward. What is what does this switch do? I don't know. Oh, no no no! No! Son of a gun, my battery. I mean it, it should be fine. It, sh it should be fine. We're gonna blow we're gonna You know about you know about Darn, okay, I can't do that yet. You know about charge up, please. Luckily his uh, charge speed is relatively low, so that's good. Okay, there we go, that's opened up. Uh, Reju, please get rid of your, uh, lightning thing. I didn't mean to. Alright, so... This is where the first of the, uh, oh, oh hi, like, like. This is where the... F Ouch! This is where the first of the, uh... Hang on, let me just actually get to it first before I talk. He's like, I fell out of the... What? Where... Where am I? I'm not supposed to be here! This, look at this, this is glitching! Where am I? Like... I don't think you're supposed to be able to get in here. I found a... I can't say it's a glitch, it's just... That was weird, I didn't... Huh. That was actually really interesting. I never found that in my original playthrough, so that's really cool. I found a, uh, a, I guess a glitching texture. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to make a like ramp. See, I think we could already like do that. Oh, frick. Whoops. Okay, I'll meet you guys back when we're there. Oh, it actually put us, like, right here, so... This time, I'm actually gonna deal with this, uh, like, like, before anything else. Side on, give me... Give me this, yeah. Like, that could be useful. That was useful. Anyway, just whack that, then... Boom, there we go. It's gonna drop a chest, so I guess we should probably get that open. Oh, we got fire like like stone. That's good. Ooh, mighty zonite shield again. Really good item. Fire like stone again. Very good. Fire fire fruit as well. I'll take that gladly. All right, now I, this time I actually need to grab one of these and like use it the right way. Like now that we uh. We could actually like um we could actually make a ramp now. I I don't want a small I nope. Okay, fine, this works, whatever. Okay, so we need to connect these just like this. Nope. Lower. Nope, don't. Yeah, like that. Then connect 
this one here. Then we can like curve it like this. And then you know boom, you know boom. You got spin. Boom! There we go. And there is the first of the five locks. Yeah, come on, you know about. You know about. You know about. Come on. Let's go, you know about. Okay, good. You're actually here this time. Um. Okay, that didn't work. Whoa, Link, check that out. That. What is that thing? Looks like a gong. It is a gong. Okay, let's go ahead and catapult him into the gong. And that was the first of the five. That must be the first padlock. Uh-huh. Oh, there are four more for us to find. That's a lot. Your mouth isn't moving. That was funny looking. Alright, anyways, these are actually um hydrants. That's what we use to get across this thing. We yeah. Crazy we're still getting more new items in this game, despite us playing for like I'm guessing like around 60 hours at this point. Alright, so now we need a uh, we need another minecart. Or what we could do. Since these are climbable walls, you know, we can just climb up here. Yeah. You could cheese the heck out of this dungeon just by Climbing the walls. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to glide over to the other end. Because that's actually where the, uh, the next one is that we're gonna be going after. Also, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you could actually, like, shield surf on these things. Uh. Uh. That was, like, the slowest one ever. Okay, so here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna climb this. Climb it like that. And then we're gonna get up here. Then I'm gonna just glide down that way. See, look, we can just ignore the puzzles in this one and just do it this way. Getting to the, like, opening these are, like, probably the biggest thing. Okay, how do we open up this door? That is the question. If this thing doesn't have a bottom, it does have a bottom, darn it. I was hoping we could just, like, ascend into it. Okay, how do we get this thing open? That's the question. Maybe there's something above it. We can just dive down. That might be the case. We'll worry about that one later. I say for now we go for the one on 2F. So let's just let's see if we can ascend here. No, we can't. I'm just saying, I'm I'm playing this to cheese route. We're cheesing this dungeon. Cause like the minecarts are very confusing and like if I'm being honest, cheesing is way more fun than doing the actual puzzles. Son of a gun. Was that a death? I don't think it was. I think we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yes, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah! We're alive. I should probably eat some kind of item to help us out. Bunch of HP. Yeah, it's good. We're good. See, we, we living. We, 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 we be out here living. Living life to the fullest, man. We're living. Not quite living like Larry, but we're living. I guess Link's living by Clary. So, I mean, we're literally climbing in a, um, in a volcano. In the depths of a volcano, I mean. Like, the hottest part of a volcano, in its depths, which is crazy. What am I going on about? I don't know. Living like Larry, that's what we're going on about. Alright, uh, Gore, I, I mean, Yanobo. Uh, did I just kill Yanobo? 
Oh, okay, hi. We're alive. Let's try this again. There we go. Um, that is actually going to make platforms that we're going to be able to use. I wonder if we could just... Yeah, we can. Oh, frick! Okay. For the last one, I think I'm just going to use Recall to um get over there. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. Recall this. I'm going to drop on it. Okay, that actually just... Yeah, that's actually, like, the best way to do that. Anyways, there's an... Oh, hi. Okay, um, using this weapon might be our best option. This does, like, 57 damage. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you know about do it! Yeah! There we go. Alright. Hit the gong, you know about... There's our second one done. Nice. Uh-huh. Yep, but now that that's out of the way, we gotta go to 4F. And in order to do that, I say we just descend up there, because screw the rules of the game. Well, I guess we are following the rules of the game still. We're not, like, glitching the game out. Well, I mean... I can't really say that after what happened earlier on in the episode with that weird, uh, texture glitch thing. That was very bizarre. Okay, we're still at 2F. Let's open this chest up, see what's in here. We got the Zonite. Nice. Oh. Is the auto build available? It is available here. I really like that they let you use all of the tools you have in this dungeon, or in the dungeons. And they don't, like, put limits on what you can do. Granted, yeah, it lets you, like, cheese and stuff, but, like, I like that about this game. I like that they say yes to, like, all, like, everything you can think of. They're like, yeah, you can do that. And any other crazy ideas you got, man, you can do that. You can do anything. Like, just, just, like, it's not duplication glitch, though, because, like, nope. That, that's really breaking the game. Cheesing dungeons, though, I see that as different. I think this is fun. Okay, so... I guess maybe we should just climb up. There's a lot of climbing in this dungeon if you're doing it my way. Or ascending. Nice. Okay, which floor are we on now? 3F? Just a little farther up. Wait, I can just... Yeah, I can just do this here. Oh, and yeah, here we are at the, uh... You know about where you at? Oh, there he is. Nice. So let's just launch him at this, uh... This here. And now we just gotta make a, um... A bridge. That is long enough to, um, make a ramp up to the thing. That is awkward looking. Okay, I, I think I, I think this is actually gonna work out. This is gonna work out fine. Okay, down. Okay, there we go, I got it. Alright, now we launch him. There we go, finally. I'm going to edit all that out until I... Got that handled. And already we've got two left. Just two left, Blake. Let's keep it up. That's what I just said. Anyways, our next one is actually this one right here. Oh, that's actually at the ground floor. So we should actually go for the fifth one first. Which is actually, like, all the way up there. It's like... I think the easy way would honestly be to, um... Just use the minecarts, cause like... Do we have a minecart here? We don't, no. Um... So what I'm gonna do, might be kinda stupid. So we're just gonna climb up. Just like this. Okay, that's like at an angle, so... 
Can I just ascend here? Nope. Can't do that. There are limits to the cheesing. Can I ascend here? Yeah, I can. Alright, yeah, this is actually the fifth floor. Ow! No, I'm not okay. I just got shot in the face. Thank you, Yonobo. My construct. What? Why isn't it working? Okay, fine. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take this my way. Yeah. It's like, this is... Like, we've only been here for, like... Uh... Oh, that's a big... That's a big zone, Ice Sword. There we go. Okay, give me your sword. I want that... Mighty Zonite Long Sword. That's pretty good, I think. I want to get that. So I'm, I'm going to drop this. No, I didn't mean to use you, Riju. What I meant to do was head up to floor 5. Do this, yeah. Okay, um. So I think we just need to use this, and then we can fly up. Not fly up, but ride the minecart up. Yep, you can, you know, Bo. You can. Wait, crap, this ain't the way I wanted to go. No! This is actually like. Where the last. Not the last. What am I talking about? I don't know. Yeah, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get up as high as we can. So that way we can find out where... There's a chest there if you want it. I don't want to get it, though. Cause it's... I think we're, like, really... We're, we're strong enough right now and we don't need anything, like, from here. Weapon wise, anyways. Like, seriously, Ascend is like your best friend here, man, because, like. Okay, we hear it now. Can't do that here. Uh. There's like a thing here I can stand on. Okay, I can't back up anymore. Okay, can't can't do that here. Okay, what can I do? Okay, wait, wait. Ideas. Something's clicking. There's like a little little bit here. It. No, no, no. Like right here. Maybe I can. Nope, this is bad. This is going bad. Okay, forget it. We're going to look for another place we can go. Wait a minute. That goes down. Yeah, this is like the end of a road here. We're going to need to find another way. Wait, hang on. Over there is actually the last sort of like... That's the last thing. It's just over here. Oh. Frick. Frick. Screw up. That's just what this whole dungeon is. It's just been me saying screw you to everything. Do I feel bad about it? Yeah, kind of. I'm not exactly doing this the intended way. Honestly, I find, like, looking for the, a way to, like, break the dungeon kind of fun, though. Wait, guys. We have Zonite. 
we can just like use we can make the hover bike here, I think. Right, we don't have enough actually. I think we can just actually climb up. Yeah, we're just gonna need to climb up here normally, I guess, which is kind of a bummer, but like, eh. Who really cares? Okay, we're gonna go this way, because this should, like, curve. Break, nope! Like, there we go. Don't know how I did that, but okay. That was the stupidest way I could have done this. Honestly, kind of proud of myself. Boom. Alright, that was the second to last lock done. My leg is asleep. Only one left. Yep. So the next one we're going to be going for is this one over here. So I guess what we can do is just glide over to where that really is. Yeah, we're just going to glide over there. And then I think we can climb up this way? I'm gonna just be quiet so you guys can hear this music. I think that's enough of the music. Like, I really like this song. It's really good. Oh crap! Like, I really like the bit where like the uh, do 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 do. I like that part. Yeah, this part right here. It's really good. Okay, we're just gonna slide along here. I'm doing this in the most unorthodox way possible. This is my ultimate trial as a cheeser. I am never going to call myself a cheeser again. Okay. We're gonna need a ramp again. Son of a gun. I got it! I think. Moment of truth. There we go, finally! No, God! Okay, everyone, I've managed to make... This. The hover bike, I mean. Like, we, we just won. We, we win. Like, we, we just, we just, we won. We... Like, here it is. Like... Finally, we can get the last one. Like, we can open this. You know, we'll get through. Finally, I can- I, I, this is going to be a lot of editing on my hands, but like, I did it. That was hell. And that was the last one. Yep. Yes. I know. Alright. So let's open this thing up. And let's go fight the boss of this dungeon.
It opens. We gotta smash those red rocks and rescue Zelda. Alright. Before we do, though, I'm gonna go take a nap. I'll be right back, guys. Wait, I could've just warped into the dungeon. Eh, whatever. Okay, we're back. Um, I, for some reason, didn't warp to just, like, directly to the dungeon. I just, I warped back to, like, the start. Yeah, so anyways, we're just gonna head up there now. Up to, like, where the dungeon's at. Walk in there. Luckily, we just, we just walk through and get to the boss. I've been recording for almost an hour. And I've still gotta get through the boss and, uh... Okay, so I do have a plan. When we're in there... I'm not gonna have the flame breaker gear equipped. Well, you, you guys will hear about my plan when we get on, like in the dungeon or in the actual thing. Like once we get in there, you'll you guys will see my plan in action. All right, here we are. You know, Bo. We need to like launch him up this. And that hits him into that rock thing. Where's Zelda? <gasps> That's really, really big. Forge of the Fire Temple, Marbled Goma. No, controller, don't die here. You're gonna live, okay? So, the thing we can do in this fight is we can actually ascend when we're underneath the Goma. Okay. I'm not the pro at I'm not a pro at this. Okay, no, I'm I'm gonna try it now. I'm gonna Go up! Yes! I made it! Okay, so now I can actually put my plan to action. Oh, we're Okay, we we're gonna equip the fierce deities outfit. It is going to be hot quick though, so we gotta be quick about this. Yeah, so it's hot already. We're just going to equip this right now, uh, and we're gonna, ah! Okay, we're going back to the, uh, Flame Breaker gear, because he, he, yeah, we gotta take care of the legs. I'm not a pro at this fight. Alright, uh, him with this, there we go. Yo, side on. Yeah, now we could actually, um, stand a chance with, against this dude. We're wet now. Um, so now we could actually, like, number one, we'll have heat resist, and we could actually wear this as well without taking damage. So let's get up here and start spinning. Alright, come on. And we're actually in a phase two already. And now we have to hit it on the ceiling. So I think the best thing we can do here is just launch it up like this. Oh god, oh god. We're okay, we're okay, we're good. Oh uh, jeez. Yeah, I, I know you know, Bo. Um, I'm just gonna launch it up and hope it hits Queen Goma. It did hit it, okay. Uh, spin, 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 spin! There we go, it's dead!
that, my friends, is the final of the Secret Stones. Kind of. You guys will see what I mean in another episode. Okay, I need my uh, controller. Pick up the piece, the, the heart container, not a piece of heart. Those aren't in this game. And there we go. We got uh, 25 hearts now. Let's get this final secret stone. I did not mean to have this equipped for this part, but whatever. Just enjoy the cutscene, guys. I might talk. I don't know. Depends. I might just stay quiet. Uh, uh. <laughs> you know, Little Rock. I've heard that voice. Are you the one who's been talking to us this whole time, Goro? Yes. I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a mighty warrior, and as a sage who, like you, could command fire. You fight using your body as a weapon. Impressive. You are my descendant, the pride of the Gorons. You defeated that monster, the source of those foul rocks. But it was the Demon King who summoned it. He sent that monster to keep you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Secret stone? Demon King? Huh. So this is the first you've heard of any of this. Then listen carefully to what I have to say. Let me tell you about the imprisoning war and the duty of so far back in my chair right now, guys. It's crazy. Many years ago, in the kingdom of Hyrule's earliest days, a great evil, the Demon King, sought to conquer the kingdom and kill everyone who resisted his rule. Rob, the first king of Hyrule, rose up to oppose him, along with me. Five other warriors. Yep. And to fight the demon king, Rob trusted us with secret stones. Yep, we've already got the other three that we Incredible need. artifacts that amplified our powers. Technically, we have one of the secret well, stones in our own. I my fellow sages as the sage of fire, stronger than ever with my secret stone. Yep. Demon King, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even my strongest moves weren't enough to break him. Uh huh. Rauru understood that we couldn't overcome the Demon King. Thank God this is the last time we gotta hear this. In one last brave act, our leader sacrificed himself to imprison that monster. Yep. That was. The imprisoning war. We have seen this thing so many times we get the idea. This is the fourth time we're seeing this crap. And then sometime later. Zelda shows up. Be like, yo. Hey. The Sage of Time, one of the six sages, came to me. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. <laughs> I get it. Magic restraining the Demon King will be undone. He will return. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will need help. Lend him your power. Your fire. The Goron's mastery of fire. If you are not gonna do that, I'ma give it to your noble and he'll do it. <laughs> I'm tired. And that's what you need to 
know about the imprisoning war and of our people's uh -huh. duty. You saved Oron City, but the Demon King is still out there. You know, Bo, Little Rock, take up my secret stone and honor the pledge I made to the Sage of Time long ago. How about no? I'm good. Fight alongside <laughs> that dude says that. Yep. Okay, we got the idea. Why'd you have to show us this like the fourth time? It's like the fourth dungeon. Fourth dungeon, fourth so secret it's stone. It's my duty to help you fight. Yep, it is. Frick, my storage is running low. We really gotta hurry. Wants me to inherit this? Uh huh. Yes, really? yes. Can we get on with it, please. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor. You are, you know, Bo. Can, you know, Bo. Please hurry, don't give us the whole shebang where you're like, eh, I'm strong now. Yeah. You no, know, Bo. Bitches. Sorry. Belly button. Laser. Activated. I can say that! Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh huh. Link, hold out your fist. Fist bump, yeah. Thank you, Yanobo. And take this. It's proof I stand with you. Okay, I, I really like whenever the power of the secret stone like transfers into Link's hand. It's really neat. How do they know they can do that? That's what I'm wondering. Check out my hand. And now we have all the rings, but one. We're missing one ring, and it's our middle one. I'm your noble, Sage of Fire, yeah. With that ring, you'll be able to call on my power anytime, Goro. I promise, I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Thank you, Inova. Okay, let's head back. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Okay. Uh, before that happens, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next time. Please like and subscribe. That was the last dungeon of the game. Heck yeah. Bye.